So, hello and welcome everybody to this session. In this one, I will be talking about the inducement thing. Okay. The inducement thing. Yeah. So, what is basically an inducement? Okay. So, inducement are the trap. Trap means the clear order block supply zone demand zones or retail equal highs highs lows support and resistance etc okay so these are the basically how I see the inducement thing. So in, inducement are basically a liquidity form of liquidity which is known as trap like clear order block supply zones, demand zones, retail, equal highs, lows, trend line liquidity support and resistance etc. So let me just show you some examples of it. So let's see if price is making towards the downside and lower high over low over high form some sort of equal highs then break towards the upside again so let's see here what we have we have a formation of equal highs here okay so these equal highs will be an inducement and we will we will be most probably looking for cells from this hidden base here why this as an inducement because what happened here people will see this zone as a clear order block and they will be most probably looking for cells from here. But what happened next, you see, it has made a clear equal highs and a clear order block in here. So market just came in, taken out this high as an inducement and given a nice cells from this hidden base in here. Same thing we have and trend line liquidity so we will call this as an liquidity or this last low just as an inducement here okay so we will be most probably looking for buys in here and this will be an inducement Okay, so that is how this happened. And this for instance, like this is the last high and this is the low. And just below this last high, you might see some sort of sponsor candle in here. Okay. And in sponsor candle in here. And just below this sponsor candle, you might see some sort of fair value gap. So if this is your fair value gap, so you see this high has failed to fill fair this uh, failed to fill this fair value gap completely. So this high has failed to fill this fair value gap completely. So this high just became an inducement. Just this high, and market just came in, mitigated this sponsor candle here and fill this fair value gap and give in a nice move towards downside. So we will look for probably sells from here, having the stop loss just above this sponsor candle and targeting the lows. So this is how we see the inducement thing. Okay, and let me just give you more example. If you price making something like
above. So this will be an inducement. And this will be an inducement. But just below this inducement level, we will have a good demand zone in here. Good order block in here because people would look uh, looking for buys in here probably because there might be some clear order blocks in here and there might be some clear order block in here but we will call this as an inducement okay and we will also call this as an inducement so we might look for buys in here or buys in here So that is how we do uh, finding the inducement and the liquidity thing. And one more thing here, if price making higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher high, and this is some sort of formation of Asian range liquidity. Okay. And if this is your Asia high, and this is your Asian look. Okay. And there might be some zoom above it. So this Asian high is also known as inducement area. We will also call this Asian high as an inducement and I will be probably looking for styles from here. So I will wait for price to come in here, mitigate, take out this Asian high and give a nice sell towards the downside. Okay. And if not, like if price didn't come in here, so I will probably look for market to take out this Asian low as a liquidity. So, and I will be looking for probably buys here first. If price didn't come in here, so I will, if price comes in here, here first, so I will probably look for buys in here. And this Asian lows as an inducement. So this will be probably my buy zone. If price come first comes first here. So I will could be probably looking for buy scene here just below the ACN rules. So that is how I see the inducement thing. Okay. So I just want a real chart to explain you these terms. So as you can see here this just became an inducement. Why? This just became an inducement because this failed to fill this fair value gap completely. So market just came in again, mitigated this suppression of this fair value gap and this last candle, which is responsible for this break in market structure towards the downside here. And give in a nice sell towards the downside. And this also just became an inducement by my soul and why these prices bought from here, which is go on lower time frame. Let me just read this. Yeah. So let me just go on lower time frame for 15 minutes or something. Oh, maybe 30 minutes. So you see here what happened here. Market had has made some sort of equal lows in here. Clear equal lows here. We have so this just became 
a liquidity or you can also call this as an inducement here and market just mitigated this last or block here and again go on higher time frame so you see market just mitigated this induce uh, taken out this equal lows here and mitigated this sponsor candle which is responsible for taking out this liquidity and formation of this liquidity area so and what from here so that is how these things works you see that is how these things works uh, having the the and uh, these things in mind like equal highs equal lows unsupported lows you see same thing let me show you again this stone became an inducement market is tapped in this hidden base okay came in tap this hidden base here and given a nice sell towards the downside here and this also became an inducement why because this last two highs has failed to fill this uh, out mitigate this hidden base so market just came in without mitigating this came towards the downside then again move upside taken out this high and again failed to mitigate this hidden base in here and move towards the downside again then third time market just came in okay third time market just came in mitigated this high as well and came in a nice move towards the downside so this is how things works yeah, yeah this is how we see the inducement thing so we will call this as an we will call this two lows as an inducement so we will just annotate the inducement in here so these two lows will be an inducement and this zone will be a strong zone for cells all right so that is this is how it works so if i have to explain this to you on higher time frame so you see market has taken out this high as an inducement and given a nice sell towards the downside from here same thing again market has taken out this high as an inducement see just by few pips just by minor pips if you can see here clearly just by minor pips in here market has taken out this high as an inducement and taken out the lows as well so same thing again here this taken out this low as an inducement And move towards the downside after mitigating this hidden base in here. This is how these things works. So that's for this video. So hope you enjoyed it. So, and don't forget to backstage like this inducement things. So have a good day.